Hey, what's happening guys? Wednesday night here at the Orange Julep. It's hot as a mother. It's currently uh, like 34, 33 degrees Celsius and uh, we're in a heat wave. We're having a heat wave. And I love Rivieras. And like so many people, I love boat tail Rivieras as these are known. 1971, 72. 73 and 4 is the same design but bigger bumpers, tail lights are different. And of course, there was nobody around until this gentleman came to come over and look at it. One of the one of the oddballs like me appreciates an old car in whatever the shape it's in, you know. And actually, I can't, this is in your car, eh? No. Okay, because I know a guy has one of these, and I'm wondering if it's the same one. Except his was in primer. He's an automotive artist like me too, actually. And I saw him driving it a couple of times. Yeah, she's got some serious rod issues over right here. Oh, big fucking time. Very rotted. That's serious, man. And my, yeah, that's that's a serious body job. That's not just for anybody. That's for an expert. Replace and cut out and replace and pat. Look at the shifter on the floor. That's awesome. 455 V8. Standard motor. Yeah, she needs a full restoration, but I mean, it's worth it, you know? I mean, this car was made right before the oil crisis and right before the whole muscle car era just died, you know, and cars like this. And when they restyled the Riviera after this body design in 75, 74, it, didn't, it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same at all. It was still cool, but this was really like, I think these cars were the zenith for the Riviera, basically, you know? And of course, what does it remind me looking at it? It also reminds me of the uh, the uh, the old TV show from the 90s called Due South. And the guy who drove this in Chicago, he, uh, hey, it's all good. Hey, all right. And uh, there was a guy. Eric is here. Yeah, I didn't even have the chance to say salut. And uh, there was a show called Due South. And exactly, if you guys remember that show, there was a cop who drove one in Chicago. And it was like a dark green. It was gorgeous. It was such a beautiful car. But this car has a lot of potential, but again, it's got a, if it's got so much rust on the bottom, the underneath mustn't be too very good. Yeah. Well, it's all there. I would love to own it, but I would be worried about it.